Holy Lord, I know you come from heaven above. The Holy Spirit is on the throne. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. Father Lord, we heard your voice this morning that invited us to come where we are, Lord. Just as we are, we have come into your presence. We have come into your presence, O oh Lord. And just like the psalmist says in Psalm verse 5, he said, Listen to my words, Lord. Consider my lament. Hear my cry for help, my King and my God. For to you I pray in the morning. Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my request before you and wait expectantly. For you are not a God who is pleased with wickedness, 
with you evil people are not welcome the arrogant cannot stand in your presence you hate all who do wrong and you destroy those who tell lies the bloodthirsty and deceitful you lord detest but i by your great love can come into your house in reference about them toward your holy temple lead me lord in your righteousness because of my enemies make your way straight before me not a word from their mouth can be trusted their heart is filled with malice their throat is an open grave with their tongue they tell lies declare them guilty O oh god let their intrigues be their downfall banish them for their many sins for they have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them ever sing for joy. Spread your protection over them, that those who love your name may rejoice in you. Hallelujah. Yes, Father God. This morning, we can declare, because you have invited us, by your great love and mercy, we have come. And Lord, we declare, like the Psalm 91 says, that we abide under your shadow. You are our refuge. You are our God in whom we trust. For you deliver us from the snares and dirty pestilence. You cover us with your wings. Your truth is our shade and buckler. Because of your care, we do not fear terror by day or night. 10,000 may fall by our side, but evil will not come near us. With our own eyes, we will behold how you reward the wicked. God must die. You are our habitation. You keep any plague far from us. You give your angels charge over us. Thank you, Father. Your word said, but because you have set your love on me, Lord, you will answer. You will answer us, Lord. When we are in trouble, you will satisfy us with long life and show us your salvation. What an assurance this morning. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, our Lord and our God. Blessed assurance. Jesus is mine this morning. We're going to declare and sing. Blessed assurance this morning because God is on our side. He has given us the assurance of his presence this morning. Let us sing.
glad to the Lord. Let us praise the Lord this morning with your own minds. What is your story? What is your song? What is your praise? We just declare. We will praise him all the day long. So begin to praise him. Thank him for the delight he has in you, for lifting you up. Oh, gracious Father, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for you delighted in me and you have lifted me up. Lord, I thank you for my family. I thank you for my friends. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, for those people in my circle, Lord, that you are blessed. I thank you. I thank you for your wonderful acts, oh Lord, for your holy name that is exalted above all the names. Lord, I bless your name this morning. Thank you, mighty Father, for you are great and worthy of praise this morning. Thank you, Father, for your mercy that endures forever. Oh, Lord, we bless your name this morning. Lord, you are worthy of praise, oh Lord, for saving us from our enemies. We thank you. Lord God Almighty, we didn't know what had transpired throughout the night, but Father, here we are, oh Lord. Awake and alive, we give you praise. We thank you, Father. Let us thank him for his hand and his strength and power. Oh Lord, we thank you for your hands of strength. Your hands have power to exhort and to give strength. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for we have a song to sing for your creative power that brought all things to be. Oh Lord, we thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. We have a song to sing for your sustaining grace that has touched us and held us. Lord, we thank you for your sustaining grace that has fed us and guided us in this step of the way. Lord, we thank you. Blessed be to your name, Lord. We praise you, Lord, for our Savior who lives our lives, walk on our hearts, and died in our place. Hallelujah. He has given us a new song to sing. This is our song. This is our song to you, Lord. Every day long, we will sing of this Savior who has saved us, Lord. Oh, that man, we praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he has broken the gates of brass and caught the bars of fire and asunder. Lord, we bless your name. We thank you, Lord, for this is our seventh day of praise challenge. We praise your name, O oh Lord, for what you are doing, for what you started, O oh Lord, for what you will do. We praise your name. Thank you, Father, for what you have in store for us this morning. O oh Lord, we thank you. Holy Spirit, we thank you for you empower us for worship you enabled us to sing our song of praise. We bless your name, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be to your name, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Before we continue our praise, let us make our declaration this morning. The early cry, the early riser declaration. It is written, 2 Corinthians 10, 3, 5. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God. To the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Therefore, I take authority over this day in the name of Jesus. I decree that all the elements of this day will cooperate with me. I decree that these elemental forces should refuse to cooperate with my enemies. I speak unto the sun, the moon, and the stars. They must not smite me. I put down every negative energy planning to operate against my life today. This is the day that the Lord has made. I and my family will rejoice and be glad in it in the name of Jesus Christ. I dismantle any power, altering incantations to capture the day. I render such incantations and satanic prayer null and void. I retrieve the day out of their hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of favor, Cancer, might, and power come upon me in the name of Jesus. I shall ascend this day, and nothing shall defy me. I shall possess the gates of my enemies. The Lord shall anoint me with the oil of gladness above my fellows. 
The fire of the enemy shall not burn me. My ears shall hear goodness, and I shall not hear the voice of the enemy. My future and my family futures are secured in Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen, amen. Because according to the word of God, Psalm 130, verse 1 to 5 say, I will praise you, Lord, for you have saved me from my enemies. You refuse to let them triumph over me. Oh, Lord, my God. I pleaded with you, and you gave me my health again. You brought me back from the brink of the grave, from death itself, and here I am alive. Oh, sing to him, you saints of his. Give thanks to his holy name. His anger lasts a moment. His favor lasts for life. Weeping may go on all night, but in the morning there is joy. This is another morning. Ah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord this morning that Father God, your hunger lasts a moment. Your favor lasts for a lifetime. Weeping may go on all night, but in the morning there is joy. So praise the Lord this morning that Lord, this is another day, another morning, morning of joy. Joy of the Lord is my strength this morning. Tell yourself that I have joy of the Lord because the night has gone, the morning has come, and my joy has come. My joy has arrived in the name of Jesus Christ because his anger lasts a moment. His favor lasts for life. This morning, the favor of God will envelop me. Declare unto yourself that, Father Lord, I thank you for your favor. Favor of God over my life, over my children, over my grandchildren, over my spouse. Lord, I thank you for you envelop us with favor as you read in Psalm 5 verse 12, that is the Lord who blesses the righteous and surrounding with favor as with a shade. Oh Lord, thank you for your favor. Your favor lasts for life. Oh Lord, thank you for favor. New morning, new mercy we receive every morning. Then Lord, this is another morning. Weeping may go on all night, but in the morning there is joy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to your name, Father. Thank you for the joy that we have in you. Thank you, our Lord and our God. Praise the Lord this morning that I believe. Lord, I believe that my morning of joy has come. That today is my morning of joy in the name of Jesus. Blessed be to your name. Thank you, Father. And whatever you are challenging, you bring with you the list that you have, present it before the Lord this morning. That Father God. Your favor lasts forever. Weeping may go on all night, but in the morning there is joy. Over this issue, I've been crying. I've been weeping. I've been crying, Lord, concerning this issue. Lord, this morning, let there be joy. Bring joy out of this issue for me. Thank you, Father, because more, the night has gone. The night has gone over this situation. The night has gone over my children's situation. Over this marriage, the night has gone. Joy has arrived. Today, we begin to have joy in this household. Today, we begin to have joy. Lord, we thank you for the joy, abundant joy. Lord, because we have come, as just as we had, you called us earlier, that we should come into your presence just as we have lord we come into your presence just as we have and you give us joy joy of the lord this morning thank you father for you fill us with your joy hallelujah be to your name oh lord we bless your name thank you eternal rock of ages for the joy that we have in you lord we bless your name this morning hallelujah to our god in the name of jesus christ amen amen hallelujah amen yesterday we talked about praise using praise that we can get triumph over demonic spirits and we we saw that from psalm 149 verse 2 this morning we're going to look at verse 3 of that same psalm and it talks about various ways to express praise We'll be talking over and over over this. But this is another thing. He said, let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbre and harp. 
And if you go on to verse 5, it says, Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. So here the Psalms describe, begin to describe the various ways that praise can be expressed. One of the ways is by singing, whether by groups or by individuals. Another way is through dance. The word here, dance, can mean either an individual or a group dance. The Hebrew word for dance here literally means to twist or to turn. Another Hebrew word for dance means to move nimbly. And still, another word for dance means to leap, to skip. So you can see that dancing unto the Lord is not a fleshly form of dancing or a dancing to try to draw attention to oneself. No, it is the dancing that comes from emptying oneself. And here he names various instruments you can perform praise on. If you go on to Psalm 150, he talks more about the instruments. But this one this morning we are looking at is verse 5 for Psalm 149. Let the same be joyful in glory. Let them sing upon their beds. After you get through singing praises in church, you go home and you are still praising God. You were praising God, standing up. Now you are praising God laying down. You praise him in the daytime and you praise him in the nighttime. In every circumstances and every situation upon your beds, you praise the Lord. Take your bed to a praise, make it a praise sanctuary. When you are lying down on your bed. And remember there's the word you say, when you go out, you'll be blessed. When you lay down, you'll be blessed if you are obedient. So you see, when you are lying down on your bed, make it that time. But not the time to scroll on the, on the internet or anything. Make it a time of praise unto the Lord. And this also this morning, as we do our challenge, 21 days of challenge. Today is the seventh day. And I found in Leviticus 23, verse 24 and 25. Let's see what he says. He says, speak to the sons of Israel, saying, In the seventh month of the first of the month, you shall have a rest, a reminder, by blowing of trumpets, a holy convocation. As we said, this is the seventh day of our praise challenge. So let us declare today a day of trumpets. The day of the trumpet is the day of victory declaration. The priests blew the trumpet, the people shout, and the city fell. You remember that story in Joshua chapter 6 verse 20? This is how it goes. So, so the people shouted when the priests blew with the trumpet, and it came to pass. When the people heard the sound of the trumpets, and the people shouted with a great shout, that the wall fell down flat, so that the people went up into the city, every man straight before him, and they took the city. Brothers and sisters, arise and blow the trumpet. Offer unto God, undefeated, unfettered praise. Just like David, look at him in 2 Samuel. And David danced before the Lord with all his might. And David was guided with a linen effort. So David and all the house of Israel brought up the ark of the Lord with shouting and with the sound of the trumpets. Once again, let us declare a day of dance. Unusual praise and declaration of victory before the Lord. Get out of your way and charge yourself before the Lord. Verse 49, verse 3 again, say, let them praise his name with dancing, 
Let them sing. Don't when you are singing. Some of us in the church when we're singing, we just stand there like a like a tree. Even the tree when the wind blow, they move. Eh? So raise up your hand, lift up your voice, and sing unto the Lord. Dance, move unto the Lord. And what's happened? What do we expect? Let me tell us. Jeremiah 31 verse 13. This is what it says. Let us listen carefully. Then the virgin will rejoice in the dance. And the young men and the old together. For I will turn their mourning into joy. And I will comfort them and give them joy for their sorrow. Do we hear that? When we blow the trumpet. When we put on our dancing shoe and we lift our voice to praise the Lord, this is what he says. He will not fail in his word, brothers and sisters. He said, Jeremiah 31, 13, Then the virgin will rejoice in the dance, and the young men and the old together, for I will turn their money into joy, and will comfort them and give them joy for their sorrow. Let us be obedient to the Lord. You do it corporately and you do it individually. And thank God, today is the seventh day of our praise and today is Sunday. So when you get to your church this morning, let them know that you have come into the presence of the Lord and that you are obedient to the Lord. You will dance unto the Lord. You will sing unto the Lord with all your heart, with all your all your say. You don't mind what other people are looking at, whether they are looking at you, because some will look at you because it's going to be strange to them. But let us break loose to the Lord this morning. As it is the day of the trumpet, let the Lord lead you with words of praise, his holy name. Play music and dance. Dance before him. And the Lord will help you. Hallelujah. Father, Lord, we rejoice. Lord, we rejoice. We receive your grace to blow the trumpet today. Pray, thank the Lord, that Father, Lord, I receive your grace to blow the trumpet today. I receive it, Lord. I receive your grace to blow the trumpet today before there is victory. The world will come down today in the name of Jesus Christ. The world in my church hey, will come down today in the name of Jesus. The world that is blocking your blessing in my family will come down today. The world that is preventing us from possessing our possession will come down today. Lord, I receive the grace to blow the trumpet today. Oh, Lord, I receive the grace. I receive the grace. Grace upon grace. Grace upon grace this morning. Let your grace be multiplied upon us, O Lord. Let your grace be multiplied upon us, O Lord. Let us abound in your grace, O Lord, to blow the trumpet, Lord, today, Father, Lord, for your goodness, for your, your glory, Lord. Pray that, Lord, empower me to praise thee with all my heart. Almighty Father God, empower me to praise you with all my heart, Lord. Empower me. Empower us, Lord. Empower us to praise you. This is a new kind of praise, Lord. Empower us to praise you this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. As I dance and declare my victory, I receive the joy of the Lord. Yes, Lord. Because your word says, He sang the last a moment, His favor lasts for life. Weeping may go on all night, but in the morning there is joy. Take the Lord, that Father, as I dance and declare my victory, I receive the joy of the Lord. I receive the joy of the Lord. And I declare that my money, my sorrow, and my pains are turned into joy. Hallelujah. I declare that my money, my sorrows, and my pains are turned into joy. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift up that list that is challenged that you bring before your be lifted before the Lord this morning. That Father God, 
Today, as I dance and I declare my victory over this situation, over this marriage, over this child, over this, whatever be the situation you are facing this morning, present it to the Lord that my Father, as I dance and declare my victory, I receive the joy of the Lord. And I declare that my money, my sorrow, my pains over this situation, I turn into joy. Hallelujah be to your name. Oh, Father God, I Thank you. Thank you, Father. Lord, we bless your name because you are the God of comfort. You comfort us. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Father, Lord. Our money, our sorrows and our pain are turning to joy. Glory, honor, and power be unto you, Lord. We adore you, our Father and our God. Hallelujah. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. You are in control. You are in control of every situation that faces us. You are in control and we give you praise. We give you honor, Lord, because you are in control. Hallelujah. Let us raise our hallelujah to the Lord this morning and sing.
Brothers and sisters, today as you raise it, your own trumpet, it can be anything. Your voice, your dance unto the Lord. The wall, the wall of your Jericho will come down. The Red Sea on your pathway will part apart on that this morning. And the Lord God Almighty will fight your battle for you in the name of Jesus amen we continue our prayer this morning we're going to pray for our ministers the bible make it abundantly clear that we are to pray one for another james 5 16 for all men for leaders and those in authority and additionally the apostle paul in first thessalonians 5 25 in 2 Thessalonians 3 1, specifically implored Christians that say, Brethren, pray for us. The divine mandate is obvious. We must pray for apostles, for prophets, for evangelists, for pastors, for teachers, and other church workers. Collectively, they are ministers. And as we pray, they will be divinely empowered to press on for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, and for the edifying of the body of Christ. Therefore, let us earnestly pray for all ministers, because the scripture assures us that the effectual fervent prayers of a righteous man availeth much. So this morning, let us lift our voice and thank the Lord for the promise we say, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. Your word is true. We worship you, we adore you, Lord, because your word has promised us that you will build your church and the gate of hell will not prevail against it. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In response to your divine mandates, let us pray that, Lord, give me the grace to pray with us this day for all ministers in the name of Jesus. In every area, whatever they are doing, 
they are the, they are the choir, they are the orchard, they are in the media room, or they are the cleaner in the church, they are ministry. Pray that, Lord, give me the grace, Lord. Give me the grace to pray without ceasing for all ministers in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray that, Father, Lord, give your ministers divine wisdom to shepherd the flock in their care and the grace to follow Jesus Christ without wavering in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, our Father, this morning, we lift all our ministers before you. We're asking you, Lord, that we give them divine wisdom to shepherd the flock in their care and the grace to follow Jesus Christ without wavering in the name of Jesus Christ. First of all, Lord, let them know whether they are Sunday school teacher or whatever they're doing in the school. Let them know that they are responsible from the students under their care. Bring them to that awareness, Lord. That they are responsible. Oh, Lord our God, this morning, give them divine wisdom to shepherd the flock in their care and the grace to follow Jesus Christ without wavering in the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to pray this morning that, Lord, teach our minister to cultivate the fruit of the Spirit and shun the works of the flesh in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, teach your ministers, Lord, to cultivate the fruit of the Spirit and shun the works of the flesh in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray for all ministers this morning. That's Heavenly Father. Give your minister grace to walk in season and out of season so that they do not get weary in well doing. Oh, Lord, our Father. Lord, this morning we lift all our ministers before you, all the ministers of the gospel. Father, Lord, we are asking you, Lord, that you give them the grace to walk in season and out of season so that they do not get weary in well doing. Because in due time, they shall receive their reward. Father, Lord, give them the grace to press on, the grace to persevere in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray that the Lord will give them total commitment, the power for total commitment, for complete submission, for humility and love for the brotherhood will come upon all the ministers of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, this morning, we are praying that the power for total commitment, complete com submission, humility, and love for the brotherhood and the sisterhood as well will come upon your ministers in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father God, we are asking you, lifting all our ministers before your throne of grace this morning, Lord our God, we are asking you that you empower them that the power of total commitment, complete submission, and humility, and love for the flock, for your people, for your children, will come upon our ministers in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray that each of our ministers, wherever they are, wherever they are ministry, in every area where they are ministry, that they will serve only for the love of God, not for the filthy look, not the filthy gain, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, this morning, we are asking you that you will empower, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that our minister will serve you only for the love of God, not for the filthy gain, Lord. Help them, mighty Father God, every one of them. Some of them are already serving, Lord. Then let them continue to serve in that love. Increase your love. Let them be deepening in your love. If you are serving, ask the Lord this morning, that Lord, in any area that I'm serving, let me serve with love, Father God. Let me serve with love, not for with worldly gain, fleshly gain. Because when others don't recognize what I'm doing, I will be tempted to withdraw. Or when they challenge me, they want to know something, I'll be flared up. 
because they are saying they don't know, they don't value what I'm doing. But Father, Lord, you are taking account of everything that we do. Nothing is sitting before you. And I'm asking you the grace, O oh Lord, for all our ministers to serve you only for the love of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray this morning that the power that brought down Gehazi, you know the story of Gehazi, hey, that you will not have dominion over the life of God's ministers in the name of Jesus Christ. You know the story of Gehazi. The leprosy of Nehemiah came upon him because of greed. Let us pray for our ministers that that spirit of greed will not possess them. In the name of Jesus Christ. That the power that brought down Gehazi will not have dominion over the life of God's ministers. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we cry with our whole heart this morning. That that power that brought down Gehazi, Lord, will not rest, will not have any room, any power over the lives of our God's ministers. In the name of Jesus Christ. This morning. Stand in the gap for our ministers and break the power of arrogance, the power of showmanship, the power of competition and greed, materialism, conventionalness, and other works of the flesh in the life of God's minister in the name of Jesus Christ. And if you are the one you are ministering in the God's vineyard this morning, pray that Father God, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, let the break the grip of pride, arrogance, showmanship, competition, greed, materialism, conventionness, and other works of the flesh in the lives of God's minister. Lord, break it this morning. Break it, O oh Lord. In our life, Father God, break it in the name of Jesus Christ. The grief of pride, the grief of arrogance, showmanship, competition, and greed, materialism, conventionness, and other works of the flesh that manifest itself in one way or the other. Lord, this morning, by the power and the blood of Jesus, break, break in the name of Jesus Christ. Hmm. Let us pray that Father God, according to your word in Jeremiah three is Jeremiah three fifteen, let them be ministers according to your heart, feeding the flock with the word of life. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, our Father, we lift our minister before you because you promise that you will bring us a shepherd, oh Lord, that will feed us, that will feed your people. So, Father, Lord, according to your word, let our ministers be ministers according to your heart, feeding the flock with the word of life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we are asked this morning that you will give our ministers the grace to imitate their master, to be impartial, and to lead righteously in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, mighty Father God, we pray the Father God, let the grace to imitate their master be and to be impartial and to lead righteously be upon our minister. Let that grace be multiplied unto each and every one, O Lord. Let the grace, Father, abound in the life of our ministers in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we pray that our ministers will always be protected with the whole hammer of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, that they will be your warrior. Prepare for battle. Lord God Almighty, that they will have victory over Satan by putting on the whole armor of God. We pray thee, O Lord, that our ministers will put on the whole, put on the cattle of truth. That they will stand firm in the truth of your word so that they will not be a victim of Satan's lies. We lift our ministers before you, Lord. That so Lord, by your divine power and grace, they will put on the breastplate of righteousness that will guide their heart from evil. 
so that we remain pure and holy, protected under the blood of Jesus Christ. And that they will put on the shoe of peace. They will start firm in the good news of the gospel. So your peace will shine through them and be a light to all they will encounter, to all they will minister to this morning. Lord, I pray for our choir. I pray for our, so, so, our, our ushers. I pray, Lord, for our, our media room people. I pray, Lord, I lift everyone before you this morning. I pray, Father, that they will put on the element of salvation. That they will keep their mind focused on you so that Satan will not have a stronghold in their thoughts in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Thank you, blessed Father. Hallelujah be to your name. Because we know you are going to do far more than what you've asked you now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, amen. And now the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Thank you for coming this morning. The Lord bless you. Remember, tomorrow is our eighth day of praise challenge when we meet by the grace of God. Amen.